All right, budget magic time, and we're playing some teamer summonings. Oh, so this head looks pretty good, actually. We got a cathartic reunion to get rid of the stuff we don't want. But basically, we want to get this metallurgic summonings out and then start Nissa's renewing. So let's just mountain goo. See what our opponent's up to. If they're coptering, we got a harness lightning, so that's good. Forsaken Sanctuary. Another summonings. Well, let's cathartic reunion, discard a summonings and a harness lightning. Pass the turn. Still no green mana. Tap land for our opponent. And passes. Well, Wandering Fumeral, goo. We're getting close to what we want. We, ooh, Cracks of Alving Wilds. So next turn, we can Glimmer of Genius. Hopefully that gets us the land we need for Metallurgic Summonings. All right, Mountain Goo. We do still need green mana. Swamp for our opponent. And passes. Well, let's Glimmer. Let's put Cultivator's Caravan to the bottom, Cinderglade to the top. Well, there's our green mana. And there's Cultivator's Caravan. So, Cinderglade. And just run out our Metallurgic Summonings. Pass the turn. So if our opponent can't deal with Metallurgic Summonings, they will die very quickly. Doesn't even really matter what they're doing. Oh, if we get to untap once, we can Nissa's Renewal. Get a 6-6, six, six, gain 7 life, get 3 lands, and we're set up for part of the Water Veil. Well, alright, our opponent gets to take something. Luckily, they do not have Delirium, so we're just uh, losing something. I don't know how much this matters here. It is annoying. They're going to take one of our two big combo pieces. I'm actually, I'm not sure which one is more important. This is Renewal puts the, <laughs> the game pretty far out of reach, but part of the Water Veil is how we actually combo off to win. So they got to take one of those two. They go with Nissa's Renewal. All right. And passes. Ooh, Tormenting Voice is interesting. Let's just Cultivator's Caravan. Forest. Pass the turn. Now we can Natural Connections at Instant Speed. And then next turn we're set up for our Tormenting Voice in Part the Water Veil. Opponent has a Sorin, which is annoying. Hits us for three, gets a Murder. So let's Natural Connections. Get a 3-3. Three, three. Get a Island, I think. Oh, that's this is Renewal. Good God. All right, so... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Play the mountain one. So we can part the water veil with awaken. This is what the deck wants to be doing. So we awaken part the water veil. We get a six six from metallurgic summonings. Get a six six from part the water veil. Get an extra turn. Attack our opponent down to seventeen. Six twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and then I think we just win here with our wandering funeral. Send everything at our opponent. Flip around the power and toughness. And that should be lethal. <laughs> Metallurgic summonings. Oh my goodness. We went from zero to killing our opponent in like one turn. So good. Uh, against Black White, I think we want our Fevered Visions. They can almost not beat that card. We also might want just Negates. Things that we don't really want. Radiant Flames. And maybe Harness Lightnings? Go down our removal? Sort of risky. We'll lose to a Cali Toss or something, but... Could bring in Revolutionary Rebuff, too. I think this is fine. Let's try it like that. We don't have our combo pieces, but if our opponent can't get rid of our Visions, that's a huge deal. And then we just have a Glimmer of Genius, if our opponent can, to set up the future. Swamp for our opponent. Lumbering Falls, you. Planes for our opponent, and passes. Ooh, there's a negate, too. That's actually sweet. Negate means we can leave up negate here. If our opponent plays discard, we can negate it. Untap Fevered Visions. And that's a big game. Uh, okay, sure. We don't really care about that. Opponent sacks a land to draw some cards. So let's just Island and uh, Fevered Visions. Start drawing. Evolving Wilds for our opponent. Cracks it. Gets a Plains. Starts dying to Fevered Visions. Uh, Cinderglade, goo. 
We can actually do pretty much everything instant speed. Oh, we got a discard? Uh, let's get rid of natural connections. Chambling vent for our opponent. <laughs> See how our black-white control literally cannot beat visions theory works out. Anguish and making. All right, we'll let that go. That's not our main plan anyway. Let's scry lands to the bottom. All right, tormenting voice is fine. So, tormenting voice, discard a mountain. There's the summonings and apart the water veil. Jeez, now our hand is loaded. We do have to wait till next turn. So let's just Cinderglade pass the turn. Discard a forest. Maybe we wait two turns so we can leave up negate. We'll have to see. But we have all our combo pieces in hand to just completely go off. Here in archive. Yeah, that's fine. Another negate. All right, no reason to go shields down here. Let's leave up negate and leave up sh uh, Glimmer of Genius. And that way we can counter like a Soren or something. Yep, so negate the Soren. And then Glimmer of Genius. As long as we hit a land here, we can... Ooh, jeez. Well, summonings, let's put both to the bottom. We want a land. There's a land. Ugh. This is actually a problem. This feels bad, but I think we have to take an extra turn, play a blue source. We were short one blue source there. There's another negate. Now we can metallurgic summonings, play a mountain, pass the turn. This lets us leave up negate in case our opponent has anguish in making, which is basically what our goal was. It cost us an extra turn spell. Eh. Not great, but I think it's worth it in the long run to be able to leave up negate here. And then we can just start making six sixes, getting the rest of the lands out of our deck. Eventually getting everything back with Metallurgic Summonings. Abnixilis, sure. I actually really don't care about Abnixilis. It's bad if it ultimates, but we should be able to keep that with Metallurgic Summonings. Ooh, Kambala. Interesting. Okay, we actually don't have a great answer for that either. But what we do have is one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, five, six. A and this is renewal. We lose two life, but we get a six six. Get some lands. Go up to twenty five. Might as well play evolving wilds. Pass the turn. We could use some card draw. That's the one thing we're missing. Even just like a tormenting voice type spell to start the chain going. Of course, if we ever get six artifacts, we just win by getting everything back with summonings. Opponent draws a couple cards. And it's not impossible we get six artifacts from summonings. Getting something like a tormenting voice or cathartic reunion would really help the process. But that's kind of the idea is eventually we're going to reuse all this stuff. And once that happens, we have so much mana and gain so much life that... I can't imagine us not winning. We do want to keep Obnixilis. Ooh. Well, I think we need to negate that. We want this Nissa's Renewal. Get a 2-2. Lose 2 life. If our opponent follows it up by Anguish on making, that would be annoying. But then we get to attack Obnixilis for a ton. Ooh, alright. Declaration in Stone on our tokens slows us down. Gets in. Well, let's see what we draw here. Evolving Wilds cracked, get an island, only three lands left. Fevered Visions, ooh, that's a good answer too. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is Renewal. Lose two, get a six, six. Gain a bunch, out of lands now. We have one Wandering Fumeral and some Evolving Wilds left. One, two, three, four. Actually, let's, let's just Fevered Visions, I think, is fine. We lose two life. We don't get to directly hit Obnix List, but we get to start drawing cards, which means it should set us up for winning here shortly. And it lets us leave up our negate. Now our opponent has multiple enchantments they really need to deal with. Uh, Cult of Raider's Caravan isn't great here, but it is an artifact, which gets us closer to ultimate 
on Metallurgic Summonings. Sinister Concoction, fine. Can kill our 6 6. Draws with Obnixilis. Killing the tokens, I don't think, is a realistic path to victory. I don't think that's going to actually work. Like, you can try, but it seems unlikely. But what's our opponent have? Grip of Desolation? Wow, sideboard tech. I guess that's worthy of a negate. Get a 2 2. Lose 2 life. Don't lose our Lumbering Falls. Opponent. Going to attack? Uh, okay. We'll block. Opponent draws. We're going to redirect to Obnixilis. Oh, there's Cathartic Reunion. We're actually a card short from using it, though. So let's Lumbering Falls. Wandering Fumeral. Attack with everything at our opponent, I think. Flip power and toughness. Opponent drops to seven. Pass the turn. Draw a another caravan. Well, next turn we can Cathartic Reunion, discarding both caravans. And our opponent's down to seven, so they're just not at a very high life total. All right, there's the Linvala. That's a good draw. Gains our opponent some life. Gets them an angel. Still, next turn is hopefully the combo turn, now that we got Cathartic Reunion. We might be able to trigger everything, get everything back from the graveyard, and that's... That's just game over. We will also draw into more Part the Water Veils eventually. We've only used one, and we only have 25 cards left in our deck. So sooner or later, we're going to have another Part the Water Veil. And that should just close out the game, because we can awaken it, so we're getting 12 power getting an extra turn. Opponent's going to take down Obnixilis, kill our 6-6. Six, six. Fine. And draws, we will redirect to Obnixilis. So, eh, let's use green. Cathartic Reunion, pitch, Cultivator's Caravan, and Evolving Wilds. Get a 2-2. Two, two. And then Cathartic Reunion, pitch, Nissa's Renewal, and Cultivator's Caravan. Get a 2-2. Two, two. And now I think we got the combo kill. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Awaken. Actually, let's awaken a basic. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Part the water veil. Awaken a mountain. <laughs> this is what we're trying to do. Take an extra turn. Play Cinderglade. Our opponent's going to kill our mountain, I guess. All right, kills our mountain, fine. No attacks. We draw a card. We get an extra turn. Another part of the Water Veil. And Fevered Visions. Well, Fevered Visions. Awaken a part of the Water Veil. <laughs> get two more 6-6s. Six and our opponent scoops it up. <laughs> it works. That's exactly how we drew it up. I think Black-White Control is probably one of our better matchups, but we... <laughs> Oh, we were to the point, too. I mean, our opponent conceded there, but we were going to be able to get back all of those instants and sorceries from our graveyard and basically just cycle through our deck again, casting random spells. So we would just build this huge board and uh, win the game. More likely, we would have just won right there by getting multiple 6-6s six and taking extra turns.